here now, and I have never seen a more insane group of people. We're not crazy. That was a very bad one. Yeah, we came here oh. for a reason. Oh, I'm sure the tub punch loving poo playing associates of pork are perfectly sane and r- rational people. We are. We came here because we needed to find out from the masters of the juice box and cheese whiz how to find my missing, missing toe. Your what? My missing, missing toe. You gotta back off that mic, man. We need it so we can get married. Grandpappy McRib says that. Oh, I didn't even begin to get close to this mic. Continue, Todd. Mayo. I was to be married on Christmas Day under the missing toe. I'm, uh, you, you... You lost a toe? Yes. <laughs> My big toe did not stay home, which meant that it was meant time for me to marry the love of my life under the missing toe. But then went to go find the piggy, and the toe was missing. This is a so Grandpappy story. McRib told us to find you guys and that you would know where to find it. Me? I'm going to know where the toe is. That's right. I I just, I, I can't do it. I just don't know what to... Hey, Todd, have you finished out that questionnaire? We're almost ready to start the one, one, three ceremony. Would you like to join? What? No, but it does sound like a really interesting organization. I'm sure you guys do a lot of great work. We sure do. I will be back in just a minute, Sugar. Todd, let me tell you. Um, figure out what to do with that tub punch and, and the Friends of Pork. Maybe we can think of some... Think about this as a typical everyday issue, obviously. And when I get back downstairs, I'm sure you want to have it solved, don't you guys? So we can do that. And then just a reasonable resolution that is possible. I'm sure uh, we will help you two wonderful lovebirds. I'm just going to go upstairs and check on the tub butt situation. And I'll be right back down. But um, it has been very nice meeting all of you. Oh, God, Pork, we need to have a meeting in the corner. Uh, oh, God. Bottom of the page, man. Oh. My my corner? Yes, now. Okay, if you'll excuse us uh, for a moment. Come right back here. And be sure that all your information is filled out on that form. Hot toddy. We'll just be playing here. Just let us know if you see our toe. Who, who was that actually supposed to be? Because it it's not... Oh, it was... <laughs> no one. <laughs> I know, it's sorry. Nobody. Who, who was supposed to say that? It's supposed to be Forrest. Forrest, say that. Forrest, you're missing your toe. Right here. Right here. Uh, just let us know if you see our toe. Okay. <laughs> sure thing. We'll do. So what's up, Hot Toddy? All right, we got to get uh, these people out of here. What? I think Sheila has reached a new level of hatred that is not normal in any human being. Oh, why do you say that? She was perfectly nice to them. That's it. She was really nice to them. And you know when Sheila is nice to someone, she doesn't like them. The nicer she is, the more she doesn't like them. Oh, you're right. We've got to get these people out of here because she hates everyone in this room but us, and we could be collateral damage. Exactly! Uh, Hello, everyone. Uh, can we have your attention, please? Uh, we would like to ask everyone to please go home right now. Right. Uh, right now. The party is over. Yes, thank you for coming. You can see the door. Super ethereal. Hey, guys, what's going on? Oh, I'm just tired and about to go to bed. I've got to head home. You know, i got a long bike ride ahead of me. Of course, of course. Uh, but just so you know, Hot Toddy, I think you might want to check everybody's pockets because I noticed that it looks like some ran, someone might have ransacked and robbed your rooms upstairs. Several of Baby J's Clue games were just kind of spread out all over the floor and didn't look like anyone was playing them. It looked more like they had kind of just dumped them there. You might want to make sure that some of these shady people, I mean, perfectly fine and nice people, but a little shady, aren't trying to get away with something. Oh, you're right. All right, all right. If everyone will just turn their pockets inside out on the way out, and um, uh, we will hand you a, a candy cane. That's right, candy cane, just for just just for leaving. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Here's your candy cane. Thank yeah. you for coming. Here's your candy cane. Thank you for coming. Here's your candy cane. So, uh, you will just be 
mailing that form into us with all the information. Sure. Uh, can you empty your pockets? Um, uh, I have no pockets, but okay. Uh, 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 hang on. Did you get that? Mm-hmm. Hey, you stole all the cards and the metal weapons from every single one of our clue games. Why would you do that? Not all of them. We just, uh, made it so that every time it's just the same person with the same weapon in the same location in every game. But why? It is the way of the 113. This way you always know what is going to happen. You know the truth. Um, just leave those there. Thank you for coming. Here's, uh, here's your candy cane. Have a happy holiday. Here's your candy cane. Relative pork, we still haven't found our toe. We shouldn't be leaving. We thought the masters of the juice box and cheese would, would whiz would know where to find it. I'm sorry, Mayo Nancy Sal McRib, but if you would just turn out your pockets. I ain't got nothing in them. I told you I hid my Doritos in a bush. You sound guilty. <laughs> you're, yeah, yeah, you're clear. Thank you for coming. Have a Merry Christmas. Forest, uh, man, <laughs> man, man. We knew it was coming at some uh, point. Uh, man, I guess Grandpappy <laughs> McRib was actually wrong. Uh, Who would have thunk it? Hey, can you just uh, turn your pockets out? Is is that the the toe? <laughs> and, and why is the toenail so long? <laughs> when was the last time someone cut those nails? I want to throw up. And an athlete's foot? I think I'm going to vomit. <laughs> Mayo Nancy Sal McRib, I have found my missing, missing toe. We can get married now. <laughs> That's disgusting. Why were you carrying a toe in your pocket? Tradition. I must have put it in there and forgot that I done did it. It's a Christmas miracle. Uh, that, that's it, I'm leaving. I have officially seen it all. I wish you all the best of luck. All right, porks, people. Well, here's your candy cane. <laughs> Take the toe with you. I'm going to leave, too. Pork, you're going to give me a five-minute head start out of the parking lot because I swear I am not going to follow you on your bike. I know. Hot toddy, let me have one of those candy canes. Thank you for coming, and have a Merry Christmas. They all went their separate ways that night. When Baby J got home, she ripped up Hot Toddy's membership form for the 113 path. He was kind of over it by then anyway. I I guess seeing the missing, missing toe on the floor by your door can uh, do that to a man. Pork made it home about 12 hours later, sweaty, butted, and and went to take a shower. However, he could not get into the bathtub because his roommate had made a new batch of tub punch in their shared bathroom. He slept that... He slept that night with a swamp butt. Sheila drove home, glad that her hatred had not seeped out and felicitate mass murders. As for Mayo, Nancy, Sal, McRib, and Forrest, they brought the tow home, which meant now Tent Town was getting ready for their Christmas miracle wedding. You! Let's <laughs> Okay, today's the day. It's finally here. You look absolutely beautiful, Mayo, S- Mayo Nancy Sal McRib. Thank you. I can't wait for my Sam baby blood womb to be full of someone for the next generation. Is the missing toe in place? Of course. You truly are one of the McRib's finest in the line. Thank you, Grandpappy McRib. Once I get you married, we just got to find pork, a wife, and then all of my great, 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 great grandbabies, my children and grandchildren, will all have, have found themselves a mate. I think Forrest has a sister. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> great. We can talk about that later. Thank God. Is the missing toe in place? It is. And uh, Check Forrest is down waiting for you in uh, the end of the aisles. Is everybody in attendance? We're all ready. Well, everybody except uh, Chuck McRib. We don't know where he went. That's because he's an angel. He put out the fire. He made it so cold on that night that Forrest would have his missing toe in the morning. And now he's gone on to bless other families in the McRib lineage. Yee! All right, let's do this. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in Tent Town to celebrate our Christmas festival. This year is one of great joy and great Abundance. Our angel Chop McRib brought about the missing toe miracle that brought us to bring these two lovely people together today. Fiddle has made three beautiful possum pot pies, and thanks to Pork McRib, who does not visit often, 
you know, who does not come around at all, but felt led to buy all three flavors of the Doritos, we now will enjoy all that those crunchy tortillas have to offer. Grandpappy McRib is also grilling up some donkey burgers. It is a great day indeed. With that, I will ask you, Forrest Alive, do you promise to cherish this young sand baby woman and all of your sand baby children and all the ways of McRib family as long as you shall live, which will be a lot shorter than Mayo Nancy Sal McRib? Well, honestly, i got to think this one through. No, you don't, because we only got six minutes left. I do. Mayo Nancy uh, Sal McRib, do you promise that you will tolerate Forrest for as long as it takes to get one baby into the McRib line and to outlive him by not laying in the mud until starvation or sitting in front trains? I do. I now uh, ask that you... Let me turn the volume up. I now ask that you kiss right here under the missing toe and enjoy this Christmas miracle. And now it's time to party! Bring on the possum pot pies and the Doritos. So concludes our Christmas tale of love under the missing toe. Mayo Nancy Sal McRib went on to have two sand babies with Forrest. She loves them very much. Forrest, always grateful to have been able to marry into the McRib line, wore his toe in a pouch around his neck till his very last day, which came two years later on Christmas Eve when he passed away straining by the poop tree. Grandpappy McRib still watches over the fishing hole. He just took on... A Mama McRib, eight, a Mama McRib, eight to be exact, and they're expected to have a baby soon. As for the rest of the folks in their in the tent town, they continue living their happy lives, doing what they do best, turning roadkill into dinner. And there are masters of the juice box and cheese was order. Well, they kept they kept doing a, a silly little radio show called Smells Like '90s Rock. Hot Toddy never did join that cult, but he's still not allowed to answer the door when no one's home, and not also not allowed. Let me let me get some. Let Let's send the ambiance here. Uh, and this, and he's also not allowed to let anybody give presentations at his home. This is probably for the best. Baby J had to deal with a dozen or more poop paloozas before leaving PPS. Having learned the skills necessary to successfully manipulate and trap people in an area, she went on to become the director of Homeland Security. They called her Jailer J. Pork just kept working at the Fancy Lawn John Silvers for another 300 years. He was always avoiding the calls from his McRib clan, but he did develop a like for Tub Punch. As for Sheila, she didn't murder anyone. Uh, at least no one could find proof of a murder and get the charges to stick. But she still hates bike people, bike people and, and all of them, really. And, and I mean, all of them are glad that they never had to help find another missing, missing toe. With that, we wish you all a Merry Christmas. And for each and every one of you to find any missing, missing toes in this season's Miracles. There you go!